What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And, and we, we back, back like, like we, we never left. left. I like that little, and we back like we never left. Like, you already trying to start singing, see? Why you got to upstage me every single time? Man, I just got a high-pitched voice. <laughs> and we back like we never left. Nah, it was cute, though. I like it. I like I like the little the 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 tone that you had. You need to cool. leave me, you need to leave me alone. It was cool. It was Gucci. Find you, know you something else to do. I'm, I'm giving you love on that one. I like that. Sure. It, it was just a little different than we normally do it. <laughs> but we appreciate y'all for pulling back up. Uh, we just started a new season of The Sopranos, getting ready to jump into episode three and four. Yep. And wow, where we left off at. Adriana, she literally threw up on the feds. She oh, threw up on the feds. That made her sick to her stomach when yes. they said 25 to life. 25 to life. But you know what? In episode two, like they... Was that in episode one or was that episode two? About what? Wasn't that in episode one with Adriana? When she threw up? Yeah. No, that was episode two. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It, it's getting really, really serious. Uh, and I was feeling like that for a quick second when, when I saw that, that Danielle was kind of hanging with her. I was like, "This is some, something ain't going. So, something going to be really, really wrong." Well, Christopher tried something to tell. Something really, him. really wrong. Something was wrong with her. Okay, he just couldn't put his finger on <laughs> on what it was because I felt like he was trying all kind of different methods. And, and that's what I and, okay. I, and, I, and, I, and, <laughs> and I was just hoping that 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 she wasn't going to get in too deep to where she would start coming around like the business and like seeing like the drug. You just seeing like little little chinks in the armor where. Where you might, where they could be like, okay, that's a charge, mm -hmm. that's another charge. Yeah, you that's know? the reason why Tony keeps Carmela out of everything. Yeah, she doesn't know anything about anything, so that she yeah. doesn't know, she can't say that she knew about it. Right, none of that. Because they can never pick her up <laughs> and, and question her because she ain't never been called around anything, right. anything like that. That's and you, you're right about that. Uh, he, yeah, you never see him take her anywhere mm -mm. other than she be at home and what she do with her friends and stuff like that. But right. other than that, she stay. Way, way, way away from the uh, the criminal activity. Right. But uh, yeah, I mean, you ready? I am. Yeah. Because what we left off at was was a, like a, a a nail biter. Right. It was. Literally had me sweating because I'm just like <laughs> I'm just like man, they, they're trying to hit her with possession and distribution. You know. Yeah. Yeah. It, That's big. Yeah. Both of those, y'all. So okay. <laughs> well, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, smash the notification bell so you don't miss. Any videos from Asia and BJ, y'all can tap into the Patreon and check out all of our unedited, uncut videos, access to all of our TV series, including this one. Absolutely. Okay? And all some more stuff. Yeah. Okay? Hey. All, all of that good stuff in between. You get a whole bundle. Y'all <laughs> tap in, y'all pull up, and uh, man, we just appreciate everybody for really just holding yeah. us down and supporting us thus far. And uh, hey, let's get into another exciting episode of The let's Sopranos. Let's go. Listen to this shit. <laughs> New Jersey Council of Indian Affairs has announced plans to disrupt Monday's Columbus Day Parade in Newark. Supporters will lie down in the path of Columbus Day marches, quote, in protest of Columbus's role in the genocide of America's native peoples, unquote. Some fucking balls badmouth in America, especially now. I thought the Columbus was the hero of America. Oh, see, it's these Indians and the commie fucks. They want to paint Columbus as a slave trader instead of an explorer. You got to admit, they did get massacred, the Indians. Not like we didn't give them a bunch of shit to make up for that. I wouldn't mind sitting on my ass all day smoking mushrooms and collecting government checks. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Remember me telling you about that? Mm -hmm. It's anti-Italian discrimination. Columbus Day is a day of Italian pride. It's our holiday, and they want to take it away. Fuck them. But I never liked Columbus. Oh. Hey, hey, in Napoli, a lot of people are not so happy for Columbus, because he was from Genova. They punished the South since hundreds of years. Even today, they put up their nose at us like we're peasants. I hate the North. Well, all righty then. Imperio Junta just bought himself a little house in <laughs> nothing. Damn. He is so gorgeous. I'm surprised nobody snapped him up yet. I think he should lose the ponytail. I think it looks great on him. That's his trademark. Sandy Fortunata says it looks like a dick coming out of his head. <laughs> well, she pretends to be his friend. <laughs> what a two-face. Oh, how you doing? You know. Thanks for the stamps. Listen, John. 
I just want to say, uh, I hope your feelings weren't hurt too bad and that it never got back to the missus. fuck you talking about? You didn't hear the joke about Ginny? What joke? Oh! You're better off not hearing it. Fuck that. I demand you tell me, Paulie. Why is he being ma- He locked up. So we ain't getting what we expected to be getting. Minimally expected. That Mazarone hired more laborers off the books. Nobody's talking to you. All right, okay. Jesus. Oh, yeah, because that was his joke, wasn't it? The 95-pound yeah. um, mole. Tony Furio's here. I love those. Here's a few long-term bonds. If the person you trust most was your broker, let's look at your current allocation. The objective. <laughs> Watch your eyeballs. Right. Mm. He is a smooth dresser, though, ain't he? <laughs> that Italian shirt, right? Yeah. Okay, Tony? Uncle John's trial starts today. First soprano family trial in 16 years. Thank you for the cookies. Make a stroop. Mm. Mm. Do it, Tony. He bringing cookies and stuff now? <laughs> Strudels. <laughs> oh, this is day one of the trial. United States of America versus Corrado, John Soprano. The first order of business. The sight of your cities pain the eyes of the red man. Mussolini was Hitler's best. Uh oh. Uh oh. Look, they showed up. In the words of Chief Seattle, for the last red man shall have perished. The highway will swarm with the invisible dead of our people. This is Newark, baby. We don't play that shit. That better not be Columbus. Take it down. He's going to burn the way our ancestors did. Go sit down, cupcake. We're not taking uh -oh. anything down here. <laughs> hey, break it up. Break it up. Hey, break it up, break it up. The fuck is this, Joey? They get a permit, still. Freedom of speech. Oh, gosh. He like, oh, look. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh. We gotta go. We gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here. Right. Next time, oh, oh shit. They're throwing bottles. <laughs> Look. And he locked the door. Look. <laughs> Are you like showing up in the go? Y'all go ahead, okay? I'm gonna be in this car. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Yo. Protest all you want. He tripping, babe. <laughs> <laughs> he ran. You know, I gotta go. I'm getting my new crown today. All, all right. right. Bye-bye. Karen, bring Bobby and the kids over for a cookout on Saturday. Oh, the helicopter must be for the protest. It's me, Dad. I'm trying to call you. She wants you to pick up some steaks and eggplants before you come home. She can't do it? She had to go get some crowns or something. <sighs> Your mother's a real pain to you know what sometimes. When she gets home, tell her I said thanks a lot. Hello? What? When? Oh, good. That's terrible. Okay. Hey. Karen had an accident on Pompton Avenue. She's dead. Karen? That's oh, one of the friends. <laughs> one of the girl, I think the one that what said the, she was going to get a crown. He was just driving. Remember, his son just told him that she had to go get crowns. Karen is his wife. The last time that you dated a friend and colleague of your brother's, he disappeared into the witness protection program. Now, another man who works with your brother, unable to meet your basic needs for love and respect. Which right. brings me back to my childhood and my mother and my father. Now we're talking. You have replaced your father with your brother. The hell with him. I know. The work is to make new choices that have nothing to do with old patterns. Your Star and Ledger interview conflicts with I in New Jersey. It's almost like the same thing that that her that that um, that Tony does too. Mm-hmm. Del Red Clay, right? Mm-hmm. Now this lovely lady. I'm Del's TA. Yes. Yes, I <clears throat> can see that. Oh. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Just leaves your hands off of her. Right. Oh. I represent a group of concerned citizens who are very upset about this 
protest you're spearheading, no puns intended. Really not in your best interest to go through with this fucking thing. You remember this guy? Iron Eyes Cody, he was an actor in the movies. You're a fucking poster boy. He wasn't even a fucking Indian. Well, I think you better leave now. Guy's a total forgazy. You keep up your bullshit. We're gonna go wide with this thing. You knock yourself out. Okay. You say, hey, have at it. <clears throat> you say, I'm not budging. Jesus Christ, is this true? This is a fucking disaster. Chill out. You didn't know about this? That is just one person's opinion, Anthony. Well, football again? He's not gonna get hurt. He's a tough kid. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> ah! Ouch! With 50 men, we could subgate them and make them do whatever we want. That doesn't sound like a slave trader to you? George Washington had slaves. His history teacher is teaching your son that if Columbus was alive today, he would go on trial for crimes against humanity. Your teacher said that. It's not just my teacher. It's the truth. It's in my history book. Mm. So you finally read a book and it's bullshit. Tony. <laughs> Tony. People thought the world was flat for crying out loud. <laughs> then he lands on an island with a bunch of naked savages on it. I mean, that took a lot of guts. He said naked savages. <laughs> He was a brave Italian explorer. And in this house, Christopher Columbus is a hero. End of story. <laughs> just cut, just cut dry, that's it. <laughs> you see how crazy like history can be though? <laughs> he said, forget what's in the book. They believe one thing and then it's the history books are telling them something completely different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dang. She died in a car accident? Yeah. <laughs> I should have known you needed me. I should have been with you. I should have been in your place. Oh. My love. My sweet love. Okay. Damn. How he loved her. Look. They are just... They so desensitized to death at this point. Silk was on the phone. He was talking about how Bobby was the only one of them who doesn't have a kumada. They were laughing at him. There he is, John. Look, I'm sorry I missed Allegra's graduation, but I made it up to her. Stick it in your ass. Hey, don't talk. <laughs> what the fuck, He ain't John? feeling him at all. Keep him away from me. What's this? I have no fucking idea. So I'm gonna pick that envelope up, though. Something's going on. It's not stuff. It's death. It's pain. I'm having a lot of trouble dealing with this. I don't think there's anything I can do. You can be there for me. You can comfort me. What about me? There it is. Right there. Let's be realistic. Let's be realistic? What? You want to leave me? <laughs> Jenna's got me all messed up. <laughs> That's what he should say. Yeah. She went in my back door. Oh, and I you say it. yes. Oh. It doesn't have to be like this. How the fuck should it be? He said yeah. He's trying to drive her away. This is Pio, Mike. A lot of speed. I'm buying her. Cool, man. <laughs> She's beautiful, huh? This is Columbus Day protest, so we need somebody to make her go away. What's wrong with freedom of speech? Come on, you got Martin Luther King Day. What do we got? <laughs> I'll call Marty up in Connecticut. He knows a big mohawk. Don't argue, OK? Listen to your Aunt Grace. Mm. Out of all of them, he's like a really good guy, too. You know what I'm saying? He is. He, he what you call like a big teddy bear. Dad. Dad, don't the door. Should I get that? See all the mommy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> he got to do all of that. Yeah, now. he not used to that. Carmela, is that you? Carrado. Oh, hello. How's my boy Bobby doing? He's all right. He's upstairs with the kids. What a heartbreak, huh? You know, I remember the first time I met her like it was yesterday. She said I look like Pablo Picasso. You showed me a picture of him. You know, she was right. That's very touching. Let me get Bobby for you. I just want to know if he's going to pick me up for court tomorrow morning. Maybe you should let Bobby be for a little while. Think about his needs instead of your own. He just hung the phone up. Leave Bobby alone. Dang. What the fuck are you doing? We don't have to hide, baby. I did it. I told Ro. I told her I didn't want to be with her anymore. And I left. He's an idiot. Now, can be no more fear, no more guilt. <sighs> you know what I want. Yeah, you want it all, don't you? No. <laughs> Look how she's looking. 
that therapist put that in her mind and, and now she like, I don't know if that was a good idea. Chief. Oh, well, behind a perfect guy. That's him. Sylvia Dante, Tony Soprano, Chief Doug Smith. He told you about the shit going down in Newark. Small element, ruins it for the rest of us. I've got a quarter of a billion dollar casino and a huge Italian-American customer base. Yeah, well, it's fucking protests. You know, they're burning Columbus in effigy down there. That's not gonna happen. We don't want to see our heritage attacked, that's all. Oh, no offense, hmm. Chief, but uh, you don't look much like an Indian. Frankly, I passed most of my life as white. My grandmother on my father's side, her mother was a quarter Mohonk. And all this hmm. happened when the casino bill got passed, right? Better late than never. Mohonk, you love Columbus. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they're talking to the right guy right now. Bobby, uh, we've been neighbors. If you want to, I'm here for you. Oh, Bobby. That day, when she had the accident, I was stuck in traffic. And my son called because Karen wanted me to pick up steaks and eggplants. And I was mad at her for sending me. I was tired. <laughs> I was mad at her. Remember he was looking ahead and there was an accident? Yeah. He was right there. He was up the road ahead of me, lying in twisted metal. But I didn't know, and I could have been with her. I should have been there to help her. But I was mad at her. Mm. Oh, my sweet Karen. Damn. You can imagine, like, how much guilt he feels. Because I remember what he said in the car. Yeah. He was literally just a little ways down. Tony, I wish I had better news. I struck out. Red play didn't go for it. Oh, you ask about the ionized Cody thing. You ask him about ionized Cody? He didn't give a shit. It's like knowing James Kahn is an Italian. All right, well, uh, I appreciate the effort. What the fuck did he say about ionized Cody? He said Ralph, had it all fucked up. It's like knowing uh, James Kahn is an Italian. Hmm. We hire a detective. I think it's over, Sil. He had just lost his wife, and he had so much sadness, so much love for her, such complete and pure emotion. I was so moved by him. And then I look at Ralphie. <laughs> you don't get nothing. <laughs> not even close to that. What does this man do? He works with my brother, but he's not like the others. OK. <laughs> OK. But back to Ralph. Speak the truth, Jan but with the compassion and respect that you're famous for. And say goodbye. Oh, it's too late for that. You think so? He left his, his wife, his <laughs> fiance. Ralphie's stupid. <laughs> Why would he want to do that? Well, he did kill her son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he didn't. Hey, she got a suitcase. What she said? She told him to get out. He got a suitcase and a toiletry bag. Look, she really don't even want him there. <laughs> I wouldn't. If I was her, I wouldn't either. Not if he just left her, his he'll whole fiancé like that. Yeah, he'll slime ball. Janutski. Janutski. <laughs> he too close for comfort. Uh-oh. This is it, hon. Uh-oh. Benito. I hope she don't rich him. Forgot. Forgot. So that's just it. You fucking forgot! What's she Oh, he fell down the stairs. I just said. <laughs> Get out! Uh, <laughs> uh, I could you, crazy bitch. Get out! Look, she ready. Oh. <laughs> he, he went tumbling, tumbling backwards down them stairs. Look at him. Oh, man. You know, his back messed up. That's what he get. Get out of Tony's mama house. Scuffle at the Columbus Day Parade in Newark. Native American activist Del Red Clay called the protest an unqualified success. I should have been there. Maybe we ought to just whack this prick. Who the fuck are you kidding? What? Fucking Chief Smith wants Frankie Valley to come up there and play a week. As payback for him reaching out to Red Clay. Or you're gonna make the fucking call. I ain't seen Frankie for years. Tough shit! You're making a fucking call! Look at them in the back. I'm not. <laughs> I'm be quiet. I don't know what you're so hot about. They discriminate against all Italians as a group. Oh, will you fucking stop? Group. What the fuck happened to Gary Cooper? That's what I'd like to know. He died. 
Oh, you mean because he fought the Sioux and all those Westerns? Oh, fuck that. So he, was, he fought all the Sioux and the Westerns. A strong, silent type. He did what he had to do. The point is, Gary Cooper, or anybody named Cooper, never suffered like the Italians. I don't know, if, he was, if he was a medagon around nowadays, he'd be a member of some victim's group. The abused cowboys, the gays, whatever the fuck. He was gay, Gary Cooper? No! Are you listening to me? <laughs> <laughs> All the good things you got in your life, did they come to you because you're Calabrese? Because you're what? The answer is no. I guess Italian. What the fuck is our self-esteem? That shit doesn't come from Columbus or the Godfather or Chef fucking Boyardee. We got to tiptoe around the Indians, though, don't we? We can't call our teams the Braves or the Tomahawks. Take it up with Frankie Valley when you talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> Take it up with Frankie Valley. Look at his lip. I yeah, know. He's his lip always hanging up. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Am I doing it? Yeah. <laughs> Literally, yeah. So she's a dancer, right? Broadway, summer stock, all that shit. The Jenny. She used to do a little dancing herself, eh? Taught ballet years ago. <laughs> Who's that? Jersey. Ralph Sephiroth's crew. He know this guy, obviously. Uh-oh. I don't know if it's gonna be good, because see how he, how he tried to skate up out of there? Yeah. Uh-oh. Got his hand in his pocket. Donnie, right? John, how you doing? It's mm, mad. <laughs> Not funny anymore? What? Oh, you're oh, you're funny. Funny. funny, huh? Oh, he broke his yeah. nose. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Funny. John, oh, oh, what the mm. fuck? Come on, let me get you out of here. Come on, come on. No, 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 no I got a couple more. Let me buy you a drink. <laughs> oh, this is the highest form of disrespect. <laughs> I didn't think he was that gangster like that. Oh my gosh. He didn't seem that gangster to me. Not that. Was he the one that made the joke? No. Ralphie made the joke about him. About his wife. The right. ninety the ninety five pound mole on her butt. Yeah. What John? did that guy do? Oh, that's his what wife. Doing, Stella? Oh my god, what happened? Nothing. I tripped. John, your hand is bleeding. I used it to break my phone. Man, you can't just tell me. No, but he did trip. He tripping his foot landed in that guy's mouth. <laughs> like when he... <laughs> can't catch the fall real quick. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, guys, I'd recommend a life insurance trust, including an assortment of other investment vehicles. What, like classic cars? No, stocks, bonds. I think he's pulling your leg, Brian. Oh, <laughs> I got to remember that one. <laughs> Brian, look, uh, let me think about it. Run it by my account. I gotta get that. Come on, yeah, Tony. They need a life insurance policy. That's what Carmelo was talking about a couple episodes ago. Yeah, right. If something happened to Tony. What happened? Oh, you know it's important when Tony got to pull up. Hey. What the fuck, John? <laughs> I got nothing to say. You got nothing to say? That fucking kid is in intensive care. I thought he worked for Ralph. And Ralph works for me, so I ask you again. What the fuck? Said Poppy Cocksuck is holding that on us. Ralph's contracting company. My guy went over the receipts. This fucking Ralph's more creative than Spielberg. First of all, this is how you handle it. Consider it a message. Cute cocksucker could wind up dead. Mm. What are you saying here? He said it. I thought Ralph was your friend. Did you hear what my friend said about my wife? Something about her having a 90-pound mole on her ass. Tony, remember that. Mm -hmm. But it's, uh, <laughs> that's deplorable. Who told you this? What's important is that it was said. She's fighting a weight problem since the kids were born. Weight Watchers, Richard Simmons. <laughs> Richard Simmons. <laughs> Ain't heard his name in a long time. All right. I'll tell you, though, I never had a problem with Jenny's weight. To me, she's beautiful. Rubenesque. To think she's being mocked. At least, hear Ralph out. Look at his How about knuckles. we go back? <laughs> see. Huh? So this kid gonna be okay? Still unconscious. Dead. Fucking temper. You put you put them hard bottoms on his forehead. So one sugar, right? How are things at Casa del Furio? I want to make my garage into the guest house. He says to me because of the rules, I cannot do it. Well, as far as I remember, 
Once title has passed, you have no legal recourse. Anyway, next week, I make a party for the houseworm. What a nice idea. It's my real estate exam. So, next Sunday is the party. We will be there. Bro, your eyeballs. Right. Why he over there? He better fix that. It's too early in the morning for him to be over there. There were 15 guys at the dinner when Ralph told that joke. Could be anybody flapping their gums. <laughs> what I don't get is why. How about Patsy? He's had issues. Maybe he's holding a grudge. What if Vesuvio's bugged and the fucking feds told Johnny? Conspiracy theories now. Why not? Create a little dysentery among the ranks? Well, the feds want there's a lot more interesting shit being talked about than there. Besides, Jenny's that fat ass. <laughs> no focus, no drive. Where's Richard in all this, anyway? Jason barely speaks to him anymore. Since when? Right after the rape. Uh. Jason may be feeling guilty himself, Jen. He's powerless to avenge you and resents his father for the same shortcomings. Wow. How's the back? Oh, the masseuse down there, the Del Rey. Magic fucking fingers. <laughs> man, Ralphie is loose, You man. know what I'm saying? And he did it. Oh, here comes Tony. <laughs> <laughs> I was Donny Kay. I was just asking him about that. Any idea was writing a family gossip column? I don't remember saying anything about Jenny. Come on, Ralph. I was sitting right there. Johnny's got some ball, big house, lying in his pocket with our hard-earned cash. Whatever he is, he's also Carmine's underboss. So you're gonna fucking placate him. Oh, what? Apologize? <laughs> no, no, you do that, I'll be worse. Whoever told him this is your word against theirs. Just don't apologize. You're highly fucking outraged. Hello? Hello, sweetie. Is he there? Oh, hi, Ralph. One sec. John! Ralph Ciparetto! <laughs> he on the phone? He look, how, a look how he looking. He called a crib. Dang, it's upstairs and a downstairs. <laughs> it's nice, ain't it? I'm calling to tell you how appalled I am. I love Jenny. I would never say anything like that. It's not what I heard. From who, John? I don't betray confidences, Ralph. Are you denying you said it? Fuck yes, I'm denying I said it. I don't believe you. <laughs> so you're apologizing? If that's what it takes. Well, why would you apologize? I thought you didn't say it. I didn't say it. Oh. Ralph, you're a lying fucking prick. I should have let Tony chop your head off a year ago. Oh, and Tony was listening too. He told him not to apologize. Look. I had to apologize for something what you did What did I say? Do. No apology. Slap him over. He just slapped him in the back of the head. I want you to sanction the hit on Ralph Ciferetto. Are you fucking kidding me? He violated my wife's honor. Ralph slept with Jenny? <laughs> he insulted her. What did he say? After repeating, her word's not good enough? Not if you want him clipped over it. Oh. Oh, wow. It's an off-colored remark. You want? I'll demand he's taxed. But clip him? Is, is it all just about money? Mm-hmm. I'll crack him good. I'll ask for 200 grand. What's next, come on? You get the fucker for a million? He wants the fucker? I'm making a point. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Dang. No, he for real about his wife, though. I mean, I get it, but I think he taking it a little too far. You think so? To want to kill him? Yeah. No. <laughs> I want to sit down and get this Fernandez paving bullshit dealt with. He was taking the money, too, a little bit. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. I see where he coming from, though. I do, too, but, I mean, it's not worth killing somebody. Yeah, they're making a lot of money with Ralph, too, right. over a joke, but at least slap him in the mouth. <laughs> it's horrible. Dad? I thought I was in the wrong place. What are you doing here? I was looking for a glass of milk oh, that Dunkey's in, and I Krispy Kreme. Well, maybe you could help me out. Mm. Oh, man, I hadn't had those in forever. <laughs> Hello. Well, don't I? No, thanks. What I wouldn't give for just one. Oh, no. Oh. Just one. So what's this your mother tells you about you joining the Legal Aid Society? I'm volunteering. They provide free legal counsel for the indigenous and disenfranchised. And this for whom? She's what, your first client? Is that why you came here? To annoy me? Hey, you want to help people, mm -hmm. that's fine. That's... Very noble, really. 
Just don't be a sucker, okay? A lot of these people, these indigenous types, they got plenty of money to smoke crack and gamble. You ought to know. Oh, I see. You're working with minorities now to get back at me for being mean to know. No. Listen to me. Believe it or not, the world doesn't revolve around you. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Come on. Let's, uh, let's go to the bookstore. You probably need a sweatshirt or something. Oh, you need a sweatshirt or something. I like when they smiling at each other. Oh. Easy. Is that that's our therapy? That's um Dr. Melfi's therapist, isn't it? I think so, actually. Oh, for coming to sit down. All right, let's straighten this out. Talk to the guy over Fernandez paving. Turns out you're right. Guy's been adding 50 gallons of seal in every thousand yards. Excuse me. I can't do this. Why? No, what's wrong? I'm trying to explain. Fuck you. I'm sorry, Carmen. I can't be in the same room with this man. <laughs> I'm gonna jump over this table. <laughs> In other words. <laughs> Tap dance on his forehead. What's all that? Consolidating some bills. <sighs> Maybe you don't care about our future, Tony, but I do. <laughs> I met with your cousin. And you sat there eating cake and making wisecracks. It's boring to me, okay? You sort of signed up for the life insurance, man. Right. You gonna cry now? She just mad because he don't get it. Every time they turn around, they at a funeral. <clears throat> And you trivialize things that are important to me, like this family's financial security. It makes me feel unloved. Well, that's your problem right there. Because uh -oh. you equate love with money. So you equate love with money. Oh, it's me. What, are you still asleep? No, oh, I was, uh, doing something. Rob's got a big problem, kid. Mm -mm. So just squashed it. Problem is, I don't know if John's hearing me. So what are you going to do about it? Nothing. They do nothing. What does that mean? I didn't say nothing. We share the esplanade, Tony. I don't want that apple cut upset. Yeah, then somebody should do something about it. I appreciate your thoughts. You saying what I think you're saying? I didn't say nothing. Ooh. He going through with it. Uh-oh. 20 years I've been friends with John. Now he's got to go. All over a stupid joke. For Christ's sakes, you never made a joke about Ginny Sack. Not of like that. Not. <laughs> Who does he think he is? So Walter Raleigh? That's enough for you. And your stupid fucking remarks. Go back to Miami and play volleyball. Whatever the fuck it is you do down there. <laughs> okay, cause he out for you. <laughs> Better watch your back. If he's smart, he go lay low. My day, John was right. A man would never be expected to stand for a remark like that. Fucked up thing is I don't even like Ralph. If he were drowning, I'd throw him a cinder block. <laughs> he was drowning. Wow. Nobody likes him. So you make it easy for everybody. Take it out of the neighborhood. Well, like an accident? The important thing, Johnny disappears. You want my advice? You'll call Lou DiMaggio up. The Atwell Avenue boys. What, those sicko fucks in Rhode Island? They may be old, my little nephew, but those dogs can still hunt. Hmm. We could do this ourselves, ninja style. They're just trying to find a way to knock Johnny off. Father? We're here to see Lou DiMaggio. Oh, come in. <laughs> go ahead. You go first. <laughs> oh, okay. They chirping. Mm -hmm. She know her way around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, no, babe. <laughs> <laughs> the drugs what <laughs> he said are you into drugs no. no of course not no anyway uh <laughs> this is him oh, john man. patrimony he uh <laughs> give it to him uh, the guy on the left it's my birthday too we're having cake later <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, she's get the hell out of here these two right here though Seal and Christopher. Especially when they get together. Right. <laughs> <laughs> look at it. Look. He said. <laughs> they couldn't find nobody else. 
Shoot. They, <laughs> they up, they, I guess they up in Boston somewhere. Babe, it don't, it don't look like they gonna bust a grape. That guy we're looking for, he's at the Delray Hotel in Miami. Uh-oh. Send someone over there tomorrow to take care of it. Are you sure you want to do this? Just do as you're told. I'll deal with the fallout. Love you. I love you too. Oh. <sighs> that might be her last time seeing him. Right. <laughs> it might be. And that's crazy because he he about to try to knock off Ralphie too. And they doing the same thing to him. Is, there, is who gonna get to who first? Shit. Look, <laughs> he had the Del Rey. What if they both get knocked up at the Good same time? He's down at the pool. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> what happened? Did he go back to the house? Yeah, yeah I guess hey. he did. He did. Hello? Jim? Uh-oh. He just left. So all it takes is for you to leave and come right back. <sighs> Jen? Jesus, you scared the shit out of me. What are you doing? I thought you left. What are you doing on the floor? I was getting the laundry together. John. What the hell is this? Oh. I thought you were on the Atkins. It's hard, John. I'm trying. Uh-oh. This is how you try? Why are you yelling at me? Did I ever ask you to go on a diet? Did I ever ask you to be thin for me? It's the world, John. Our culture. You have any idea what you've done? What do you mean? You lied to me. I know I've gained weight these last few years. I see the other wives, the way men look at them. Don't I look at you like that? Haven't I always? I want you to be proud of me. I ain't proud of you. <laughs> she wasn't gone 10 minutes and she was downstairs eating Twix and Snickers and everything. I'm trying to figure out, I was like, what in the world is she doing? <laughs> oh, man. I thought, some ha I thought something happened to her. Uh-oh. Hello. I just talked to my guy again. We're calling it off. I'm already out here, though. We'll work something out then. Don't worry about it. Ooh! I want half. All right, whatever. Getting out? No. <laughs> oh, man. Say by the what? Say by the bell? Right. Phone call, whatever. Man. Look at her. Look at her, Alfie, looking. Oh, let look. What's your fucking problem? He ain't say nothing. <laughs> oh, babe. Oh, he sure was, he could have got him too. Yeah. This is pretty cool. It's actually from Italy. I'm so bored, I feel like crying. <laughs> he always bored, I babe. feel like so bored, I want to cry. What's new? He's getting so tall. It's adorable, Tyrion, really. Come uh, on, Dad, dance with me. No, 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 thanks. Tommy Toon over there. Come in. Yeah, calm, go ahead. Good idea. Look, look. Look at the hand. Everybody, come on. Everybody, come on. Oh, oh no, you do. I love when they have like these moments though. It's like everybody's having a good time. Kind of let loose, let your hair down. Everybody seems normal. Okay, while they over there <laughs> discussing stuff. Where well, they can actually get away from all the... Oh, oh. Uh-oh, she touching on the shirt. He not paying attention. No. <laughs> Carvella. Jen, why do you still feel guilty? Sometimes I wonder if Richard had a point. I shouldn't have gone down into that garage that late at night. I went to see Sask at school the other day, and I'm in the parking garage over there. Finally, I spot someone leaving, this big blue dose sort of guy. I must have crowded him as he headed for his car. <laughs> he turned around 
and became quite confrontational. I thought of you. Parking garages are not inherently dangerous places, Jen. You cannot blame yourself for what happened to you. I don't believe that. <laughs> if he had dragged me out of my car and beat me up, would I be saying, gee, I, I shouldn't have tried to park my car? No, but you were driving a foot behind him. <laughs> I'd be confrontational yeah. too. And it's crazy because he's describing Tony and she doesn't even know it. Yeah. Uh-oh, look. You wanted to see me? You could tell Ralph I've decided to accept his apology. About a big reversal all of a sudden. No more weight remarks, Tony. They're hurtful and they're destructive. Oh, I agree. <laughs> I hate when he does that. Because I feel like he's just been... Oh, I agree. Right. Just playing the game with you. Right. Bought you something. What's this for? No reason. I don't know if I believe that. <clears throat> Tony, this is beautiful. Try it on. Uh-oh. Fitting like a size six. Baby! <laughs> it is fitting you, girl. Shoot! Why would he ever need another woman when he had when he has her? Look like a model. See, he just wanted her to put it on. So he could take it off. So he could take that off. <laughs> she looked good in it, though. just given though. Yeah, what, what kind of look you think that was? Ah, man. I'm a little bit confused. I don't think you're confused. I don't know. I feel like she I don't know if she was like thinking about Furio or something like You think so? <laughs> I don't know. If she was like you know, I don't really know. I don't really know what to comment off of just that scene right there. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I just feel like Something was missing. Something, something was a, was a, something was seemed off. off. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know. That music up loud. You know they were just having a good time at the party. Oh, you saw. That's you saw right. how they she were. was like they... looking at him. And then they, they was already kind of dancing to something kind of similar. Right. We're at the party. Mm -hmm. At the at the little I think party you might be that right. he he was throwing. So I'm just like I don't really know. It just seemed like something was just off right there mm -hmm. for a quick little second. Yeah. But you know what, though? I will say that I was just really looking forward to seeing, like, if the FBI scene thing was going to come back. Because they had Adriana in the very first the That's first right, episode. That's right, when they were working out. One. Yeah, but it was just weird that they didn't bring it up. They didn't show any of the FBI. They didn't really bring any of that out in this. I was kind of expecting something yeah. for that to come up, especially with Christopher. But... But we've seen that a couple of times with the Sopranos, like when something kind of happens in, in one. It just kind of takes a little bit more time. It kind of just keep. It kind of just keeps going, and the next couple of episodes, you don't really. They don't really like bring it up or anything. I so think. That, I, think that's, I think that's one of the genius things about this this show too. Yeah. Well, I'm wondering though, like, if they talked, uh, talked Adriana into wearing like a wire or something, because right. you know she's been around the ladies and stuff mm -hmm. like that, hanging out with them and stuff now, but. They haven't really shown much of her, like mm -hmm. you know, giving them a lot of screen time in terms of her and Christopher. I, and I think again, that's why that's kind of why I'm pointing to like like the the way that the that the that the show is for like the episodes. And yeah. Because I was thinking that too, like you know, from what we saw last yeah in episode two, I was like, huh, I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure it's gonna be like a continuation. Right. But these these next couple of episodes, it it really wasn't even a peep about it. Right. But you just never know, like, what's going on behind closed doors, even though you're not really seeing her. Yeah. But we did see her like that. I think that's one of the good things about The Sopranos. It's like, they keep it kind of unpredictable. Right. And they kind of keep it going. Because same thing, we said the same thing about Dr. Melfi uh, when she got assaulted in the garage. Yeah, because that going. hadn't come back up either. Exactly. And it seemed like that just kept going. And you, and I guess what our little prediction was, it wasn't, you know? Yeah, I'd agree. I would agree. Yeah. But... But yeah, like, so I don't know. Like, I feel like 
uh, uh, Johnny showed back up and was like, no, I called it off. But at the same time, like they were actually out to, to get a hit too on, on him at as well. At the exact same time, simultaneously. Literally, I literally, I thought we were gonna be watching them die at the same time. I, like, I, I was, I'm about to say that too, because it's, <laughs> it's, really it's, 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 it's literally like both sides thinking the exact same thing at the same time. Yes, and, and not even just that, but you already see that Tony and Seal, like they don't, they don't cover Ralphie either. So they were kind of like somewhat cool with it to some degree. But we already knew that though. Like right. the only thing that I'm waiting on them to say is that. Polly was the one that told them that information. I'm just trying to figure out what the significance is in that, like why he is kind of turning them against him. Like why he called him. Why did he tell him that? Or tell Johnny that? Why did Polly, Polly tell Johnny that? Why did he, why is he using that information to, it's almost like he's turning them against each other. Like, especially with real. Ralphie, because they know, I feel like he knows Ralphie makes them a lot of money. So right. why take a key player out the game that's making you money like that? And Paulie told him something like mm -hmm. that. So I feel like it was intentional for that to happen, for them to kind of go after Ralphie. And then just bump heads at right. the end of the day. Right. Yeah, to but... take money out of all their pockets because when, remember, Paulie was like, has anybody went to go check on my mind? It's almost like Paulie's locked up and they all are like, yeah, just carrying and, and, on. And he, you wanted, know? he wanted to throw like a little monkey wrench and everything, right? Just to get back at Ralphie. You know what I mean? And again, man, Ralphie, he better watch it. He better watch what he's doing. He better watch his moves, because again, you know, he fooling around with Janice. Uh, he already knocked off um, Jackie Junior. Yeah. Like, and, and again, like we already seeing like he, what what Ralphie character is. It's like Ralphie is he's already like a loose cannon, and he don't have. <laughs> He really don't have any loyalty loyalty to anybody because he'll pretty much lie to everybody in their face. I just think that to get he, out of something. Yeah, and he his mouth he just has a mouthpiece. Mm -hmm. He's very loose at the mouth, like like you said, he has no filter. So whatever he's thinking, he just gonna say yeah, it. And he yeah. and he doesn't care who he offends. You see, even at the guy all. on the elevator was like, "Bro, I could take you out right now. You don't even know." He, he turned around. He literally was just looking. You at got him. a problem, like exactly. And the dude was just oh, looking. Right. And and, and, and he could have went ahead and just did it yeah, just he because. Could <laughs> he could have. So I'm just glad that he got the order because he was like a millisecond this away close. from getting clipped. Literally. And we're not talking barber clippers. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Whoop. And um, also, the, the again, the thing with Carmella. Carmella and Furio, you know? Yeah. Mm. I don't know. You know, Carmella, <laughs> look. Okay, because she is, she is not, she, I mean, granted, she's a mom, okay? She's a wife of a boss, mm -hmm. but at the same time, like, she's a beautiful woman. Exactly. Very attractive. Mm -hmm. Like, you saw when she put that dress on, I was like, okay, yeah. I know, and, and it's almost like she, she's already, like, a beautiful woman, but when, mm -hmm. she, but when she, like, steps it up like that, it's almost like, it's almost like you 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 think to yourself like, come on, Tony, like Tony, right. like look what you got at home. You got a woman that's loyal, that's gonna hold you down, that do everything for the kids, that's Literally. gonna cook, right. gonna clean. She's trying to take care of financial responsibility. Mm -hmm. Like she like she likes probably like the most well rounded woman that's on this show. Right. Yep. You know. Yep. And he's doing what he's doing, but just like you said too about Adriana, I guess we'll see something. Later on about that, you know what I mean? Yeah. I guess I guess we got we got to put it out of our mind for now. I guess so. I guess because so. that seems like that's what they want us to do right now. With yeah. These, with, with the episodes, don't they don't even want you to think about it. They don't even want you to. It's almost like, you know, it happened, but we're moving on now. Right. Exactly. Okay, y'all. So y'all tap in. Let us know what y'all think about this. Tap in. Uh, and if y'all enjoyed it, be sure you give us a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe, smash that notification bell so you don't miss. Any videos from Asia and BJ. Absolutely. And ain't nobody else told you. I love you. We're going to see y'all in the next video, y'all. Absolutely. We appreciate y'all for tuning in. Yeah. We'll see y'all sooner than later. Bye.